Oh, hey, Cannon. Welcome to 2015. We weren't sure you'd make it. Well, it is cold out. There was a lot of competition on the roads, so it's not easy in 2015 here to make it. Well, you're here now, so that's the most important part. So just sign in on the, the front desk sheet there. You weren't on the guest list, but still, you can come in for a bit and warm your hands up. Did you bring anything to the party? Yeah, of course. I brought something. Here, it's the new Canon G7X3 and G5X2. Very different cameras. Check these out. Oh, wow. Look at those, huh? Those look nice. You put dual pixel autofocus in these? Well, no. The heat. There was a lot of heat. A surprising amount of heat in that small body. We couldn't actually manage to fit it in there. But it does have contrast detection we, we borrowed from Panasonic. They didn't give us their best autofocus implementation, but a decent version of it. One of the earlier firmwares of the GH4. It's good. Oh, yeah, well, autofocus isn't that big with the vloggers these days, I don't think. So shouldn't be too big an issue. Uh, 4K. Look at that. Little menu system upgrade. Look at you, Canon. 4K. You got 24p in here? About that. Like, we did try to put it in, but... 24p is... You'd think it takes less processing power? Not in ours. For some reason, ours takes a lot. It's really hard. So we, we tried. It's not in there. Sorry. 4K 30p, though. That's cinematic. Hey, I don't blame you. It's not easy to put 4K 24p in a little machine like that. Don't, don't feel bad about it, okay? You put in the 1080p 24p, that's good enough for most people. Yeah, we put that in there. That, that sure is in there. 10, 1080p 24p. I'm not seeing it in the menu anywhere, is it? Is there a hidden menu function for the 24p? Yeah, it's in there. Just, I think you'd hold Control Alt. Just here, I'll do it for you. You suck, Cannon. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So, Canon, in a back to the past, can we compete with the Sony RX100 Mark III? Releases the G7X and G5X for some reason. Why the different ones? They're so similar and stupid, like two little twin brothers fighting over who gets more Cocoa Puffs. How to Cocoa Puff your face. The G7X is cheaper but better because it has the mic jack. And then the G5X comes over with a frickin' pop-up viewfinder catering for photographers everywhere. What are you gonna do with a viewfinder as a photographer? Oh, it's sunny out. Glad I have this so I can see Stacy just yeah, lean against that homeless man. Offer him money. Okay, take the money away. Oh, he's beating oh he's hurting you. I I can't help, I'm a photographer. Good shot. You loser. As a YouTube vlogging sensation myself. I look at the G7X and I think, okay, you got your one inch sensor, 24 mil on the wide end, not wide enough, but you did give us a mic jack, no hot shoe. So road micro out of the question, but you could Jimmy rig yourself up a lav mic. So you're tethered like a school child to his mother at Disneyland. And you extend it out a little bit on a tripod. You have the stupid wire in the shot, by the way, it will be in the shot. You're holding it and you got the, oh, what's that cord? Oh, I'm just tethered, like a baby. But it's good, sounds good, doesn't it? So you got your one inch sensor, slightly blurry background. I'm digging that. Nice audio, lav mic, wind protection, phenomenal sound. G7X2 had decent stabilization. You could work with it, decent. 
The dual pixel autofocus has not blessed us with its presence this day, my friend. Contrast detection. You want to see what contrast detection autofocus looks like? Tap it on the background. Oh, we're blurry. Did it pulse? Did it pulse? Is it, are we back on my face? Did it even make it? The realization here, that's not even close to the word I wanted. I have several friends on YouTube who bought that G7X Mark II. And I swear to God, I want to punch both of them in their loving mouth. Just every video, there's focus issues always on the background. It's just, I'm embarrassed for you. All you have to do, I used to, I made a video on this. I had the G7X Mark I. Tap on your face, you face jackass, and then lock it. Two presses, not even buttons. Just the screen. Tap on your face, got it, locked off, not gonna move again. Is this good content? Should I have this in the sea? I have a giant friend over there. Yeah, he's in front of that. That's not me. It really doesn't even look like me. Wow, this is amazing content. You're blessed. You're blessed. I mean, who were you thinking you could fool with this release cannon? You made a Canon camera in 2019 without dual pixel autofocus, the only reason anybody even looks in your direction when you're starving in a back alley after being beaten up by the hooker you were trying to save from that evil homeless man. Where are we going with this? Somewhere good. That's the only reason anybody buys your cameras and you don't even have it in there. Autofocus is the only reason and the flippy screen, of course. We love you, Flippy. But in this market, Sony flips it up too. I don't remember when they started adding phase detection in the RX100 series, if it was the Mark IV or the V, but it's in there now. And it focuses great. And you don't have it. What, what's your selling piece? Do you sell pieces? How much are they? Too much. Yeah, that's right. It only gets better though. Canon's cripple hammer was not finished here. It had foes to defeat and it had a couple more swings in the bag. 24p, gun. That is Canon's new direction. Just, no, no, take that out. Like, they are very clearly sending a signal message, smoke signals. If you want to shoot video, we have video cameras, cinema related cameras, C100, C200, many other numbers. Buy that camera. You want 24p, you go to the top of the line, buddy, on a mountain. I don't care what your shoulder looks like after that shoulder rig week. Ugh. You show up to a date like this. I wish there was a footage of this date. Oh, hey, Mark. Nice to finally meet you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? What do you need? Do you need something? You cold? Do you want me to get you a blanket? No, it's just that you're slanting a lot with your shoulder. Are you, are you hurt? What, this? This is nothing. I shoot Canon cameras. I'm fine. This is how I walk now. So you want to go for a walk? We can maybe just stay here for now. But, like, can you straighten? Just, like, maybe lean this way? Have you tried that? Like, yeah, I can. It's just... That noise. So I just... I try to stay here. Canon, you're just so stupid. No dual pixel autofocus, no 24p, Mike Jack with no hot shoe. Everything else is the same about the last version. Stacked sensors, Sony let you use their sensors. Like, here you go, here's one of our old sensors from 2008. You put it in there. You did work some magic, but it wasn't enough magic. You couldn't paint on dual pixel autofocus on that. You're not a painter. You're not an artist. Because you didn't listen. In there. When elementary school came and it was your turn to show the class what you've made, you didn't have anything to present. And it hurt. It burned a hole deep. I feel ya. So what, what are you gonna do now? That's the real question. We all get burned in life. You gotta pick up the pieces. Make something of yourself. Show them. You have what it takes. You have what it took the whole time. You're gonna make it happen. I believe in you. Not you particularly, Canon. Maybe your brother, Sonikin. 
So I don't understand Canon's business model of success. Cripple everything. It's just so stupid. So, like I'm in the market for another vlogging camera. That thing is kind of a pain in the ass. I have to focus on myself with the remote wire. It's stupid. And then my Sony X3000, my batteries, my aftermarket battery charger, because it didn't come with the camera. Sometimes you never know if it's charging or not. The funny thing is, Sony's planning a new RX release, so it could just be an absolute G7X3 embarrasser. Like out the gate, three days later. And it's like, oh, you, that was quick. You didn't even let us get it off the shelf, Sony. It's not even available for pre-order yet. You debunked us. Just give us a week. Let us make some of our money back from the sensor. Just God damn it. Why did we buy 7 million sensors from you? Oh, I knew that was a mistake. Mm. Grandma taught me wrong. Why'd you do it, Granny? God love you. Up there in heaven. We'll be there soon. <laughs> cry laughing from my own jokes. That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. So post your thoughts down below. What do you think of these new releases? Is there any hope? I just, I don't see it. Every G7X2 footage is out of focus anyway. They didn't improve it. If they had the dual pixel autofocus and 24p, how do you take that out? What are they doing? That's their new direction. The RP removed. How do they do it? How do they get by? How do they get away with it? We let them. Don't let them. Stop buying their shit. Stand up. Be true. You can stand up by buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. They're available in the shop down below. All kinds of styles. Sweaters, mugs, stickers. Socks. We don't have the socks. I promise too much. So, still, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.